Okay, so we asked you guys to tell us what were the best and worst comic book to video game adaptations, and y'all had some feelings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So Mario U Comics said, Batman Returns on the SNES is very faithful to the movie it was based on and is a good Final Fight Street of Rage style game. Xavier Huguenet said, Superman on Nintendo 64 was the worst. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man beat the Arkham games for me recently as the best. Okay. <laughs> the Puppy Taco said, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Ubisoft. So good, many keep their PS3 and Xbox 360s hooked up to keep playing. Finally, Christopher Burns said, there is one game whose failure is the stuff of legend. <laughs> Superman 64. <laughs> yeah, Superman 64 is not only like the worst comic book to video game adaptation, mm -hmm. it's just one of the worst video games ever made. That's, like, impressive. That's very impressive. It's straight up like perhaps the worst video game ever made. The <laughs> controls are terrible, it looks bad, mm -hmm. it's just like, Egregiously not good. Yeah, um, I've heard legend of Superman and Nintendo. I tried but. playing it one time, and I can remember exactly where I was. It was like a <laughs> a Funko Land in Owings Mills, Maryland, <laughs> that had it hooked up to one of the like in store TVs because uh -huh. like it had just come out or right, something they were like to that. Push it. And they were like, "Yeah, yeah, play Superman on the N64." And I watched the Superman animated show. Right. Yeah. right. Fantastic show. Great show. Garbage video game. Right. Uh, <laughs> so tell me how you really feel. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> and I so think, what I'm hearing I, is you liked it. I think I was like <laughs> six at the time, and I remember like even at six years old, I was like, I don't think this is very good. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. No. Not no, for me. No. 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 Not it. Uh, one of the uh, comments like actually provided like a screen yeah. of the actual video game. And, it's like, chunky. Yeah, it's very <laughs> chunky. It's very chunky. No, Chun it's chunky even by N64 standards. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Actually, it, it's hilarious because the, the video that they posted was Superman flying, uh -huh. and then he, he lands, but he lands in the ocean. <laughs> and then a meter begins to like dwindle because yeah. he's underwater. I'm like, why would Superman ever drown? Because video game mechanics. Well, I mean, but at the same why time, it's like- Why was there a meteor like, underwater? I, uh, what? Who? Did you just say there was a meteor yeah. A meter. A like meter, a, a meter, an oxygen a meter. A meter, meter. Okay, yeah, yeah. meteor, and I was like, I'm, I'm very lost now. That would actually make more sense. I mean, I understand that's, yeah, that's yeah. like the basic game mechanics of the day, but like at the same time, it's like, <sighs> A little strange. Yeah. Um, best video game adaptation. Spider-Man PS4. Okay. Wow. Yeah, really, you know really recent. without any hesitation. Yeah, it nailed every every aspect of what you want out of like a comic book video game, mm -hmm. particularly for Spider-Man, mm -hmm. specifically because Spider-Man's had dozens upon dozens of video games mm -hmm. made from his lore and from the movies and whatnot. Many of which have been quite good. Mm -hmm. The PS4. Um, exclusive Spider-Man that came out, I guess, in 2018. Yeah, wasn't that um, Yeah, God, like yeah. the web-slinging mechanics are mm -hmm. super fun. The side quests are good. The battle is fun. You get into sort of like a groove or like you, you start hearing like about a crime and you're just like, cool, I'm on my way. And you go and you like beat up some dudes and mm -hmm. you just like, move on. The story is really well written. The Sinister Six iteration that they put in there is really cool because you have some classic guys like mm -hmm. Dr. Octopus. The way that they write Dr. Octopus in the game is really good and very compelling. Okay. But like, so you have Dr. Octopus and then you also have like Mr. Negative who is not what I would call like an A-tier villain He's for Spider-Man. He's pretty yeah. recent. Yeah. Um, the fight against Mr. Negative is so cool yeah, right, right. as far as like how it's stylized. Everything about that game is really cool. The fact that after a certain point in time, you'll just be swinging through the neighborhood and Taskmaster comes out of nowhere and just kicks you in the face. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> Everything about that game is really fun, even getting your butt handed to you by, by Taskmaster. <laughs> uh, so yeah, easy. Like that's that's definitely by far my favorite. But then also like Marvel Ultimate Alliance, yeah. the most recent one on that's Switch is super fun. People, yeah. um, oh, specifically the Switch one. Yeah, the Switch okay. one's super fun. Um, Batman NES is really good. Okay. Like the w old one, like the base off the movie one. Okay, um, the 89 one. Yeah, okay, Batman uh, 89 on NES yeah, is yeah. really good. Um, yeah. yeah. No, I, you know, I actually, I, so I'm an Xbox guy. Okay. And you've trolled me. So yes. You know, <laughs> Car Carrie's like, okay. okay. Okay, I guess you can be that <laughs> That's person, fine. Troy. Um, Everyone has one of those in their <laughs> lives, and you happen to be mine. But I, I don't think I ever had PlayStation Envy until that Spider-Man game came yeah. out. And I was just like... Mm. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like that one moment, I was like, that's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, my, I think, if you know me, uh, my favorite 
comic to adaptation anything is probably going to be Marvel vs. Capcom. Okay. Even though it's like kind of loosely a bunch of different things kind of yeah. all thrown together. But I'm going to look. There are comic book characters in it. There's but Marvel which characters. which NBC? Um, three, actually. Okay. Yeah, three, three was... Actually, wait a minute. PlayStation 2 was... I think that's NBC2. That's two. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. That's the one with cable in it. Yes, so that it one's is. my favorite. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I said three by knee jerk, like totally knee jerk. But yes, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is actually my favorite because nice. I think that was the first time that I actually sat down and like really played a Street Fighter game. I mean, obsessively to the point that like I would like pause it mm -hmm. and like if I was losing, I would go to school, leave the, leave the system on. <laughs> And then come back and unpause it and play the game all over again. Wow, right, right, yeah. Which is not something you should do with your PlayStation. No, but. that's not healthy. But I was fully dedicated to it. Ashton, do you have like a best or worst or anything? So I really liked Spider-Man for PS2, but I don't know that it was necessarily like a good adaptation. I think I just have like good just memories yeah. associated with it. And uh -huh. I'm like, yay, I like this game. I remember being, my brother was so great at this game, and I was so trash at this game <laughs> that I was thrilled when I could just like, swing across the city in any sort of like coherent manner without right. falling on top right, of people right, right. and ruining everybody else's good day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that would be my choice. Okay. I don't play a lot of like superhero games. Mm -hmm. I like sim games, which is fine. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're interestingly enough, you're obsessed with Gears of War for some reason. I am. You kept bringing this up last yeah. week. What was your thing about Gears of War? Uh, it was just like, so we were Xbox 2. You can punch me later, I guess. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but we had played like a lot of Gears growing up and I think mm -hmm. Gears of War as far as video games go, has a really great plot line, a really it solid does. plot line that mm -hmm. they follow all the way through all of their games, mm -hmm. and they build on it in a way that is believable as far as that topic is, and their characters have actual like character arcs, and they develop mm -hmm. their characters. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, if anything's set up to translate into a comic book, and I had said movie last week, and then you said... I think it'd be a good as a miniseries. Maybe, maybe yeah. you said that then, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. I think it would it could work being adapted the other way around, from a game to a comic book or... The like. There have been a number of good video game to comics oh, yeah, as well. For sure. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, recently, Life is Strange comes yeah, to mind from really Titan. That. Yeah, because yeah, right. it like can directly continues the story right. from the first game, mm -hmm. and it still follows those characters and. That's been really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I know Udon stuff. The Udon stuff is a favorite for a lot of people. Yeah. Like, yeah it's Street Fighter. Street, I feel like yeah. Street Fighter doesn't have a great story <laughs> necessarily, not no, always. It, fighting games typically do. Right, you know, but I mean, like, it's yeah. it's faithful in that manner. Uh, like, you know? Yeah. Um, Sonic. Yeah. The Sonic right. comic books yeah. might yeah, be yeah. some of the best examples of video games working as comics. Yeah. If you want to get in some, into some, like, weird deep Sonic lore, like go read the old Archies. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's currently with IDW. They've been doing a fantastic job with it. Mm -hmm. um, I think Archie also did Mega Man for a while. Yeah, they did for a mm -hmm. while. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's with Udon now, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I actually, I can't think of like necessarily a, uh, uh, a com actually, you know what? There was a book called Halo Helljumper, and it was written by Peter David, okay. who's like actually a favorite writer of mine. Um, and I typically kind of, I like Halo in general, but right. I typically gloss over the comics of most video game adaptations. Yeah. That one was really good, probably because it was written by Peter yeah. David. <laughs> Halo's been really good. I think right. they did like a Bloodborne comic book yeah, well, yeah. recently. That That's yeah. really cool. Mm -hmm. Titan does a lot. I they think did, Titan yeah. also did um, Assassin's Creed. Yeah. 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 Assassin's Creed right uh, now. Yeah. So yeah, it's like if you're into video games and comic books, like there's a lot of crossover oh, there. Oh yeah, right. for sure, for sure. Like there's definitely a marriage. I always wonder what the Venn diagram is of like yeah, gamers right. and comic book readers. But I mean, clearly there's a huge like middle portion yeah. there, you know, right. so. Um, yeah, I mean, I just kind of figured that would be a fun one. I actually also want to point out, we actually talked to the 2000 AD people. And yeah. then we happen to have also at the same time be having a conversation about this particular topic. And uh, I thought to myself, I was like, why have they made a Judge Dredd first person shooter? Like, that would make oh so much God, sense. Oh my God, that would be so <laughs> Yeah. And they're owned by Rebellion, which is a video game company. Right. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm, about I'm, to email Owen. Like, yeah, right, right, right. Me. right. We're going to throw that out into the world. We're going to throw that out into the world. 